marine pyrotechnics are probably one of the oldest forms of marine signalling, whether it be for distress or location. Um, they fall into three distinct categories. Um, rocket flares, which tend to come either as red flares or white maroon flares. Rockets also come as maroons and signalling, um, in so much as that they're available as white illuminating flares. Um, quite often, these are more powerful than the red ones. They create a greater whiter light. And for a man overboard situation, they're ideal to illuminate a big, large area. Uh, they're used very heavily in the military, but I would certainly recommend that a yacht would carry at least three or four uh, white illuminating rockets because they illuminate a large area of the water if in the middle of the night you're ever looking for a man overboard or something like that. You then have uh, handheld flares which come in several different colours. Uh, principally for the marine environment they come as red or white. The other thing uh, that flares obviously can produce is smoke. Um, the predominantly uh, in the leisure world, uh, either handheld smokes or buoyant smokes. Uh, they produce orange smoke. Um, ideal for identifying your location and if you are ever being rescued by a helicopter or you want to identify a wind direction, they are absolutely perfect for that. So red rockets are principally to allow you to identify that you're in distress. You're not aware that somebody's looking for you. You need to draw attention to yourself um, for somebody who will probably be quite a long way away. So a red rocket is used principally to say, I am in distress, please come and help me. Uh, they are obviously firing a long way up into the air. Uh, they rely on a mechanism in the bottom of them to help them fire. You must make sure that you point it away from you. Uh, the instructions are written on the flare and you must, must, must make sure that you've read the instructions before you fire them. So to deploy these, this particular rocket, pull the plastic tab on the side, a mechanism will fall out of the bottom. In this particular piece of pyrotechnic, you hit the mechanism from the bottom and the projectile comes out of the top. The plastic cap on the top stays in place until it fires and then just fires off. There is actually, and something that you need to be aware of, there is quite a kick from a rocket flare. Um, you need to make sure you hold it securely, otherwise the risk is it'll slip through your hands. So handheld flares, principally in the leisure marine market, come in two different colours, white and red. Red is for distress, just the same as the red rocket. Obviously it doesn't fire up into the air, so it tends to get used when you know that somebody is coming to find you and you can prob probably even possibly see them and you want to draw their attention to you. The white handheld flare is nothing more than a means of identifying your position. So it could be used if you are uh, in, a, in a yacht and you want to make sure that a commercial vessel has seen you and is aware that you are there. To fire the flare, you remove the plastic cap from the top, shake out the firing mechanism, turn the flare the right way up, a vertical pull upwards, and the flare will ignite. I would strongly recommend whenever you're using flares that you use and invest in a leather gauntlet glove because these burn very brightly and very hot. They have a paper on the outside which will burn. You will be perfectly safe as long as you just hold the plastic handle but for peace of mind, a leather gauntlet is a really good thing to keep inside your flare box. Many of you will be aware that flares are packed inside life rafts. Your life raft by definition is quite fragile. Um, if you choose to use your flares in your inner life raft, remember one golden rule. Please don't bring the flare back inside the life raft after you've used it. Um, it may well have been extinguished but it will still be very hot. Uh, and life rafts and hot flares don't really go together. Uh, the hand flare, like this, will have a very, very hot tube. The rocket, like this, the tube will still be quite warm. The best way of handling flares after they've been used in earnest is to dispose of them overboard, whether you're actually on your yacht or vessel uh, or whether you're in your life raft. Once they've been fired and activated, throw them overboard.
So smoke flares come in two main categories, handheld and buoyant smokes to be used and thrown overboard. They're used to illustrate your distress and they're also used uh, if you're being rescued by uh, an airborne aircraft, whether it be helicopter or a plane, um, to identify where the wind is blowing from. They're really useful for pilots in a search and rescue situation. The handheld flare is operated in exactly the same way. Take the plastic cap off, turn it upside down, turn it the right way up with the firing string and fire. Um, and that will burn for about a minute and a minute and a half. So the buoyant smoke is very different in use. Um, it's designed to be ignited and then thrown into the water. It will obviously float, will burn for at least three minutes, um, produces more smoke than the handheld flare um, and is designed to illustrate your position. And as I said earlier, it is very much there to provide a wind direction for any search and rescue asset uh, that is coming in to rescue you. Uh, these are only really to be used if you are very aware that the asset coming to rescue you can see you. Um, it's very important that you remember that there's, there's not a lot of point in setting any flare off if there's nobody to look for you. So don't waste them. So to deploy this, remove the plastic cover on the top, that's just discarded. Similar, very similar type of firing mechanism in the Icarus hand, uh, flares uh, than the hand flare. Uh, take the, the firing mechanism, pull vertically upwards, it's a striker inside, and then the whole can of pyrotechnic is thrown overboard into the water. It will float um, and will produce a lot of smoke for about three, between three and four minutes. So at Ocean Safety, we have a number of pre-packed packages of flares, uh, which cover different use for different environments and depend a little bit on the type of sailing and, and uh, marine environment you're going to be working in. They start with the inshore pack, which is very basic. Uh, coastal obviously assumes that you're going to be going a little bit further offshore, but still possibly in sight of land. Uh, we have an offshore pack, uh, which has, consists of a lot more rockets uh, and assumes that you will be potentially blue water. Uh, the ocean pack is very similar and tends to contain more of the same. Remember that you will only have a limited number of flares, so don't waste them. Uh, so the ocean pack is definitely blue water sailing. We also have a number of packs that we can put together to tailor packages to ensure that you comply to any rules and regulations for any racing event or any event that you're taking part in. Um, it's very important that you make sure that the specification in your flare pack meets the specification required either by a regulatory body or by an event organiser. So all pyrotechnics are dated products. They're all going to last for between three and four years depending on which manufacturer you're using. The Icarus hand flares and the Icarus rockets, uh, depending on whether you go for the leisure version or the commercial version, will either expire after three years or after four years. They are class one explosives and you should never forget that. So to dispose of them, if they're out of date, you shouldn't just let them off for obvious reasons. You might attract attention to yourself when you're not actually in distress, uh, but you need to make sure that they're always treated with care. So our recommendation is that you bring any out of date pyrotechnics into an approved disposal facility, uh, who basically any, any business that has got themselves in a situation where they have approved ways of getting rid of the pyro rather than just burning them off or throwing them in the bin. They're not something to be used on bonfire night. They have to be disposed of properly and they have to be treated with extreme care. So at Ocean Safety, all of our branches have the ability to um, take time expired pyro uh, and we make sure that it is all obviously uh, disposed of in the correct manner, um, both safely and environmentally friendly. Ocean Safety, we are the exclusive distributor for Icarus Flares, a high quality product that we've been distributing for over 15 years. Very good quality, very reliable, and altogether a really good product that you should make sure you have on board your vessel.